is sitting right next to you. Talk to him and say, were you murdered? No. I can, you know, the matter is subjudice, I don't want to get into it because, uh, you know, we, I have the strongest belief on the courts and we have all submitted ourselves to the courts. Whatever relief we have got, we have got from the courts. But I can tell you there's nothing that was, uh, there was, there was, all, all of these are baseless, bald allegations. And that's exactly what, if you see the reports, the, the, the judgments that have come out so far, uh, the judgments are clear. There is not an iota of uh, evidence. These are bald allegations, completely bald allegations. Which what what did I use in Gujarat? What did I use for Gujarat? What name? No, that's not that's, that's wrong. No, so so that's what I'm saying. So somebody can just because somebody has been authorized by the system, if that person lies, that lie becomes truth. So you you ask, you ask for evidence because I can show you. And I've seen that I don't have the documents, but Design Tech had the documents because they're still a functioning company. They have the documents. The, my, my, I've always, in, within, even within the Siemens circle, I've been known as Suman Bose. So Meadri Shekhar Bose has my, is my given name, my name and my passport. The Gujarat documents have been signed as Suman Bose. The signature which I've affixed in the Gujarat document and the Andhra Pradesh document are my bank signatures. This is... Oh, oh, massive benefit. This is like marketing benefit. The, I'm telling you this. So this is a practice which has been started for the last, maybe the last 50 years since the tech industry has come in globally. That the idea is that, you know, in, in economics, right, you have demand, you create demand by creating demand within consumers and you create demand by pushing in supplies. And perfect example, I'll give you perfect, some few examples for you to understand. So if people get, lakhs of people, crores of people get trained on a particular product, when they come to the industry, the industry automatically starts selecting the product. I'll give you an example, simple example. Everybody has heard about this product called Tally in India. It's an Indian software product, one of the most successful products. What was Tally's strategy against all the global players? Everybody who was an accountant, everybody who became a chartered accountant, everybody who started accountancy in the country had a copy of Tally, a free copy of Tally. And Tally, and therefore when they learned Tally, they went to the company, the company could have used any other software, but they still wanted a Tally on their back end to do the accounting. This has been done by the likes of Siemens, this has been done by the likes of Sun, HP, IBM. I have worked for the globals and I can tell you, please Google. And you find out about every company's global grant in kind program, you will see there across the world. And this Siemens program has happened in multiple areas. So this is, Siemens is giving its money to build its own future demand. Because the people who get trained, the, you make, you give in one hand, you earn in another hand. One is to 10, one is to 20, one is to 100 is the, is the return. If I train 2,15,000 people and each of them, you know, uh, go into a company and imagine the demand and imagine what Siemens will sell. And this is the truth for every company. So th there is no, uh, you know, it's, it's not just large use of heart. It's also business. It, it's a very good business sense. Investing, just like the reason why we would invest in our ch child's future. It's, it's a great business, it's a great economic sense. And that's why Siemens invested. I, I, I hope I got your question. If I haven't, please ask me for clarification. I think your question is, if I understand correctly, that uh, the roles in this project, primarily, right? So, APSSTC represented the government, the mandate of the government to create an industry infrastructure in the state. And based on their industrial policy, segments were chosen, which had automotive, which had heavy engineering, which had electric, el electronics, electricals, etc., etc. That was APS, so APSSTC was the beholder of the holder of the project. So the colleges were selected by APSSTC. The APSSTC was one of the, uh, the certificates went in with, and it's a joint certificate by APSSTC and Siemens, so APSSTC was there, and it was the overall owner of the project.
Siemens was the technology partner. So everything to do with transferring that vision of the government to reality was done through Siemens as a visionary technology company globally. That's the role that we played. In that role, we also brought in our products. We also brought in our hardware, our software, our coursewares, etc., etc. But given that the vision of the project was much larger than what a single company can do, we had also therefore brought in lots of our industry partners. You know, whether it's in the area of robotics, whether it's in the area of manufacturing, whether it's in the area of automotive uh, repairs, our customer partners, etc., etc., we have brought them in. And we have assimilated this under the platform of skill development. And this has been the standard practice that we have done, not just in Andhra Pradesh, but in all other states and places that we have done. This is a mammoth task. That's the reason we used to only do one project a year. Right? We, conceivement is was used to take about a year, implementation is another year, and then you know, run, you're running it for another three years, right? So that was Siemens' role, Siemens' role. And design tech role was as a system integrator. You need a system integrator who will integrate all of this, all of these pieces, all the hardware, the know-how, the software, the, the coursewares, uh, the hiring of the faculties. You know, there were 